everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to share, uh, show you guys how I clean my master bedroom. I usually do this about once a week, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. It's not super dirty, but this is just kind of what I do um, to keep it clean and neat. I love how minimalistic it is. Not too much stuff in our master bedroom, which I really, really like. Keeps it super easy um, to stay clean. Um, I think eventually I might add like a couple more pictures and maybe like a candle, but other than that, it's pretty basic, but I really like it. So yeah, come along as I clean um, my master bedroom. Alrighty, so I'm just going in with my window glass, or window glass, my um, glass cleaner. This isn't Windex, it's just like a no-name brand of it, um, but it does the trick. I really like it, and uh, yeah, this is something I do once a week, and I will wipe down the windows um, about every other week and dust the fan. So you don't see me do that because it's not something I do every week, but it is something that I will get to. Um, so yeah, I'm just wiping that down and making it all nice and clean again. The world seems small We can sit together and I don't know why, but I'm so, like, so picky when it comes to making our bed and how it has to look this time. Um, I think just because, like, the duvet is heavy and, I don't know, I just, I like the bed looking perfect when I make it before. I liked making the bed, but it wasn't, like, a big deal, but now, I don't know. So I take everything off. There is nothing quick about making my bed. Um, Richard tries to make the bed still because, like, the rule is, is if you're the last one out of bed, you have to make the bed. Um, so... He tries, but I usually end up just fixing it anyways, because I don't know, like I said, with this new bedspread and bedroom, um, I kind of like <laughs> to have it perfect. And I'll try to link all the products down below, but we got this um, sheet set from a local mattress store. so. I'm not sure if I can find it. I don't even have like the bag that it came in anymore, so I don't even know the brand, but I will try to find something similar. And then our bed sheets we got at Walmart. So like I said, I'll try. Hopefully I'll be able to find you something at least similar if you like what you see. Also, this was when Richard, my husband, was on night shift, and he always calls me at 7.30 on his, like, first break, and, um, you'll notice that I don't even pay attention to how I put the pillows on. I'm, like, re-watching this, and I'm like, Ashley, you totally put the pillows on the wrong way. Like, you'll see how, like, the one design's in the background, and, the like, it's not showing, and the other one is, so, um, yeah. Shows you that I guess I can't talk to Richard on the phone and make the bed at the same time. And the pregnancy pillow is from Toys R Us, or maybe it's from Babies R Us. Ours are in the exact same location, so I will link that down below for you guys as well if you are interested in that pregnancy pillow. And I also like how it matches the um, blanket and kind of like the theme of the room. That Richard actually picked that out for me because um, I was at home or I was at work, and that's why he picked it out because he thought it would go with the bedroom. So good job, Richard. Um, and now I'm just folding some laundry and putting it away. And this cleaner by Method is, is in the set almonds, but to me it smells like babies. It does not smell like almonds at all. And I love using it. I can wipe down my furniture all the time. Like, I just find it so satisfying. I don't know about you guys, but I, like I said, I could like wipe down my furniture every day if I could, all the time. <laughs>
and something I looked for when we were buying um, our bed set was would it be easy to clean and take care of and when I saw this bed set I was like this bed set looks so easy to like wipe down and it there's not too many like the like grooves and things like that to get into like it's just I mean obviously you can see that there it's not a flat surface there are some like um designs to it but it's pretty easy and pretty simple and I don't know I'm just like yes this looks like something that is easy to maintain <laughs> As you saw on my stool, I was sitting on it because it just—it was just so much easier to clean when you're sitting on that stool. Um, not that that's why it's there, but um, I have it so that I can get into bed because it is a higher up bed. We didn't think about that when we bought the mattress set, and so yeah, I need a, I need um, a stool on my set, especially with being pregnant. It just helps. It makes things so much easier. It actually comes in handy because as you can see, as you'll see, I go and grab it um, so that I can wipe down the tops of our mirrors. Um, just because I can't reach it by myself because I'm only five feet. about 30 minutes. It really doesn't take me that long um, to quickly wipe down the furniture and the mirrors and to make the bed. Oh yeah, and I will clean them. I will sweep them off the floors as well. But like I said, it usually takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Not very long. I think that's another reason why I enjoy cleaning this room because, like I said, there's no really clutter, there's not a lot in here, so it doesn't, like, it's so easy to stay clean and stay on top of it, and I think because it only takes about 20 to 30 minutes, it makes you want to clean it, um, it makes you want to do this room first just because I know it's not going to take me that long, so I don't dread it at all. And I just noticed the way the baseboards need a little wipe down. Usually I will do this every other week when I do the um, windows. And yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.